What's going on, everybody? This is John J Gaming on the mic here, coming at you with a brand new episode of the Realignment Dynasty here on NCAA 14, featuring that college football revamp, of course. We had a, a lot, a win that turned into a loss because the game took it away from us here, man. But we gotta look forward. We gotta continue conference play as this time around we are taking on the Bobcats of the University of Ohio, one of the best party schools in America, but not one of the best football teams in America. They are B minus overall squad, B minus offense, B defense. We're a little bit flipped. We have a B offense, B minus defense here, man. Uh, defense is really good, but our offense has not lived up to expectations yet. One of the worst scoring offenses in the country as we're trying to come out here, man. And try to, you know, continue the momentum that we had in gameplay um, as we, you know, try to progress through the rest of the schedule, man. So, we'll see if we can, you know, get to 30 plus points like we did last time around before the game ended up freezing. And, you know, we had to go ahead and simulate. So, should be a good episode still. Hopefully, uh, the NCAA gods are going to be on our side. If you guys are excited for it, man, make sure you go ahead and smack that like button. Hit that subscribe button as well if you do happen to be brand new. Let's go ahead and jump into this thing, man. Let's break this losing streak. All right, boys. So we end up going ahead and getting the ball first to start this game. Let me see if we can start this game off right here, man. As we throw on the first place of the game and we actually connect one with Ben Young. He's going to make this first catch of the day. But now we got to get that bread and butter going. Got to get that run game going. All about the meat and potatoes up here in Michigan State. At least until we get our, uh, you know, some more skilled guys uh, up in here, man. Definitely need to work on that. Through the recruiting, as we face third and six early, gonna try to hit him with the trips to the right, but that halfback draw don't work out for us, unfortunately. And we're gonna have to go ahead and punt this football away. But thanks to our defense, so we get the ball right back here quickly. We do force a free and out as Aaron Ford. He's going to make a play up field. He's got some space to work, and he's going to run his thing into the end zone. Touchdown, Spartans. Let's go, baby. Andrew Gray put it right on the money, and Aaron Ford is going to do the rest of the work there, getting away from a couple of would-be tacklers as well. And that gives us an early 7-0 lead. As I do apologize if I sound a little bit different. Still fighting off the symptoms, man, of the vid. You know, we're, we're getting stronger every day. So that means we're getting, you know, better every day. More content for you guys, obviously. We're just getting out of that. Our defense starting to find that groove, though. As they tried to target Brian Woodson, but it wasn't working as Woodard. He's going to go ahead and take it to the outside. He's got some room to work on the read option. And the read option goes for a nice gain. But we'll see if this Bobcat squad can build anything off of it, though, as Robinson is going to carry it out to the outside. And he's going to pick up the first down. Gain of 13 for Robinson. As it carries the Bobcats past midfield. As they continue to go on the ground with their quarterback running back duo. One of the faster uh, backfields in the Great Mid-Eastern Conference. As they continue to go to that. But this time it's Atkins getting a carry. And he was really close to breaking that one loose. We did manage to get him at the second level. But still a bigger gain than what we may be comfortable with as Woodard still with a great drive downfield. And now make it first and goal for the Bobcats. Can we keep him out of this end zone though? Third and goal, couple plays later. Got him at about the five yard line as they're gonna try to pass for this touchdown and we get to this quarterback. We send the blitz and they was not ready for it, man. Let's go. So we hold him to a few points there. And now our offense gets the football back once again. We had a great drive last time. Out! And we get a great throw over the middle of the field. Ben Young with the catch is now first and 10. See if we can build off of that first and 10. That huge third down throw. 
as our offense is off to a little bit better of a start this time around especially with third down so we got a third and short coming trips to the left as gray is going to drop back the pass sending the blitz but we get it out quickly over to mike anderson as we go ahead and get that first down again is now a few plays later third and nine going with the four verts till it hurts as gray looks to the outside he's gonna throw it over the middle but it's going to be intercepted so it ends up being a glorified long punt or like a short arm punt that does actually knock them inside the one yard line it was third down so we had to try to do something but nobody was just open downfield though and first and 10 for the Bobcats and we are oh we were on that but we went back to cover the longer route oh I should have stayed with that fullback though but still not a bad first quarter by any means we do carry a four point lead just got to finish drives a little better so we'll see if we can do just that here in the second quarter as Witter's going to go ahead and fake the handoff gets away from a linebacker now it's a foot race as the rest of our defense finally does go ahead and catch up a little bit but now the Bobcats are now out of their own end zone and they finally got some breathing room to work with as they'll throw on third and nine Woodard gonna throw it into double coverage and I can't believe that's not intercepted Justin Johnson dropped one there as they will have to punt this football away again as we got a solid last drive, it just ended in an interception. So here's to trying to do a little bit better this time around as Anthony Williams is going to fight for that first down. You love to see it. An extra little bit of effort there. As it sets up second and one. Going with the play action. We got some space as Gray going to try to throw this thing towards the right hand side. And Ben Young is going to come down with it. Let's go, man. Red zone opportunity. I'm trying to finish here as Gray gets too locked in on one receiver. So another chance for us to come away with points. And we fumble the bag, man. Sam Jennings this time coming through with the interception. Now, Ohio cannot capitalize. They punt the football right back over to us. But, man, we are just we are making it too easy for these guys to stay in this game could easily have been 21 to 3 right now if we just make some better decisions right so like that that hurts me a little bit on the inside but we just got to keep moving forward you know what i'm saying as we we'll try to see if we can get this run game going hasn't been as much of a factor here in this one as gray is going to drop back throwing it to the right hand side that was you know could have been intercepted but the linebacker did not end up getting there fast enough. So second and short instead. As we set up a easier decision. Easy read for Andrew Gray to make. As Ben Young was of course wide but naked open. And now first and goal. Another play action forward. Going to try to run it into the end zone. And he's going to be stuffed at the one yard line. Ford almost had himself his second receiving touchdown of the day. And now a third and goal set here as we try to punch it in. Gray looks to his right. No, goes the other way with it. Is Ronnie Harvey is going to find the end zone. Touchdown, Spartans. And looking better as an offense as Andrew Gray is going to throw his second touchdown pass of the day. And so we might be able to grow this lead a little bit more as again, we force another free and out. So we got at least one more chance here to go into halftime with even more momentum here. Got two timeouts to work. As we'll throw to the left-hand side again. Ronnie Harvey able to get us to about midfield. As we're going to get ourselves on the ball quickly. As Gray hands it off over the middle. Gets it up to Anthony Williams. And Williams will fight forward and pick up the first down. And that will be first and 10. And we can take a little bit more of our time here as we can, you know, we can get some time off the clock now and really make sure that we are the last team to go ahead and touch this football. As now, second and 10, Gray looks, 
to the right hand side looking for somebody to get open just gonna try to run for the first down he's not as a mobile as maybe some of the uh, quarterbacks that we've worked with in the past but if you know, you know, able to get out of bounds, save some time off the clock. You love to see it. And it should be an easy third down conversion, which it does end up being. And Williams does have the presence of mind to get out of bounds, too. Again, saving that last time out. Is now second and goal coming. Gray looking over the middle. Gets it out to Aaron Ford. And that will be touchdown number two for the tight end, baby. Let's go, man. Andrew Gray, he's feeling himself today. That is his third touchdown of the game. Third passing touchdown. And we're going to take that momentum into the locker room. Going to be up 21-3. to But before we jump into the second half action, let's go ahead and take a little look at recruiting to see what's going on. So while we're waiting for second half action to start back up, let's go ahead and take a look at a few of your guys' custom prospects that did end up signing on that dotted line. Starting with the tight end from Hoover, Alabama, we got PJ Dunsford, the two-star from Hoover, Alabama. He's listed as a 59 overall, but is likely a little bit higher than that. He is going to sign on the dotted line for the Troy Trojans, which was his only scholarship offer that he did end up having. Look for him to, you know, possibly be a more athletic tight end. Uh, watch out for him, particularly in terms of his route running abilities. As for Josh Hall, the quarterback from Philadelphia, that city of brotherly love, he has not officially signed on that dotted line yet, but. He looks to be a virtual walk to sign with the Hot Guys of Iowa. Definitely an interesting surprise. He is the 25th rated quarterback in this recruiting class. Is seen as a scrambling type. Uh, does have some solid uh, speed to go with it. Uh, but he does need to work on his throwing accuracy. But should be a great read option type of quarterback for the Iowa football team. And then the other custom prospect that did end up signing from the state of Tennessee, we got Rob Robertson, the number 47 frame quarterback in this recruiting clash. Hailing out of Nashville, Tennessee, he signs with the hometown team. He signs with the Tennessee Volunteers. And Tennessee, he also had a scholarship offer from Virginia Tech as well, but did opt to stay home and will be playing his college football for his hometown team so that is all the custom players that did end up signing at least for right this second let's go ahead and jump it back onto the field for the second half all right boys so second half action now underway man we look good to start you know to start this game man but i'm trying to finish it off maybe mess around and get the uh get the backups in the game you know get them a little bit of game experience but you gotta take care of business here and so that we can make sure we get this dub and it starts with denying them this third and inches as they barely pick up that first down that's tough one freaking yard and they're gonna pick up the first down that's crazy man and it's now second and eight coming woodard gonna throw it short to robinson again and nobody there to get him out of the backfield and now ohio is gonna go ahead and put together a little bit of a drive as they run it again on first and ten just just a C parting for Adam Robinson there we had the corners contained just not the middle of the field where they were uh, running the football but maybe it stops here another third down we have been pretty good on third down for most of the day as we'll see if we can stop them from getting a second one and Johnson is gonna deny it once again bro let's go baby fourth down get them boys off the field but yet an offsides penalty on our fourth down is gonna give them a whole new set of downs to work with as now water is gonna wind up and try to get a touchdown but instead we're gonna try to take it back to the crib come on baby adams get to the sideline okay solid return man let's go and we probably would end up with better field position than if they would have 
went ahead and punted that football away anyways. Um, so, hey, it worked out for the best. And it worked out, you know, on a positive note for us. So, you'll love to see it. As now, first down for us following the turnover. Going to start with a little bit of read option as Andrew Gray is not the most mobile quarterback of all time by any means, but still picked up a solid, uh, you know, gain of eight. As we'll try again here on second. It's short. Trying to get it out to our tight end, but they're keying on him a little bit more here in this first half. And so third down here. Going with a free wide set tight end to the right. Gray getting it out to the edge where Ronnie Harvey is one on one. And he is going to be able to create enough separation for himself to pick up yet another first down. Is now Gray is going to run it again on first and 10. Will nearly get to the sticks there. Not quite though. As we'll throw it again on second and sure. Ohio looks like they're going in some kind of zone coverage, but they forget about Ben Young. Just finds a soft spot in our zone. And he is now well over 100 yards on the day as we continue to march down the field. Get it out to Ben Young again. He's been a menace in this ball game. Make that 7 for 132. We love to reward this man with a touchdown. Can it happen here? Not quite. But it does at least set up first and goal for us here. As we look to extend this thing out to a 28-3 lead. Gray under center. Looking over the right-hand side. And what a dive. Ronnie Harvey able to come up and make the grab. Let's go, baby. That's a fourth touchdown. For Andrew Gray today, he hasn't looked this good since the game against FCS North Dakota State, man. Our FCS opponent that we had to start the season. And we got a little bit of a blowout award going, man. We're up 25 here against the Bobcats of Ohio. And they are scrambling desperately to get back into this game. Woodard. Dropping back, looking over the middle, he has Corral, wide butt naked open, it's a 24 yard catch, and now the Bobcats are back on our side of the field, looking to get their first touchdown today, going to the left hand side, and he had a receiver, wide butt naked open, but his receiver fumbles the bag and drops it, and now in a familiar position for them, one for eight on third down conversions, and they just... That's not going to work on our defense, man. It's not the most athletic defense, but, you know, it's it's fundamentally sound for the most part. You know, no complaints. Well, not a lot of complaints over here uh, about the mental side of this defense. And, oh, Aaron Ford, you got to make that catch for me. Is now second and ten coming up, going with the five wide set. Gray looks over the left-hand side. Ben Young actually does win his route. And that's a first down for the Spartans. Go ahead and try to keep this thing moving. Now we're, we're really starting to create some holes in this defense. Anthony Williams, he's had a slow start, but he's, you know, he is getting better as this game has gone on. We're getting some really good plays out of him. Really, from the whole team, the whole team has been playing much better on offense than we had the last couple of games, it seems like. Seems like we're really starting to find our groove. Finding our identity, almost, as Anthony Williams will also go ahead and nearly pick up that first down. Can we finish the third quarter strong? They are really going to go ahead and lean back here like they're expecting some kind of big play or something. I, I got no idea, dude, but... It works, though. Uh, couldn't find anybody to get open, and that's how our third quarter is going to end. Uh, not as many fireworks as, you know, first half for us, but we do build on this lead. Get those fours up, baby, as we try to get our first conference win of the season. So let's go, baby. Fourth quarter now underway. We did, of course, end up playing this uh, ball away. Don't want to give them any more momentum here. Oh, oh, we should have had that. We had Woodard lined up. We were going to light this dude up like a Christmas tree, except 
We missed him completely, so that's tough. That's a really tough look, so hopefully we do a oh, better. How is that not an interception? I was pressing. Why? Yo, that's crazy. I should have had that interception right there, but, you know, it is what it is, you know. That's how NCAA, you know, you're trying to, you're trying to not let me be great, man, sometimes. But, I mean, y'all know how it is playing this game for, I guess, been out for nine years now. I guess that just uh, comes with the territory. And, oh, we got the deflection from Lance Muhammad. Now, at least make it third and long. Ohio rocking with a five wide set, it looks like. As Woodard's going to drop back, he's going to look to the left hand side, gets it out to William Cook, but he doesn't turn upfield. They're going to have to punt the ball away. And now here comes our offense. Looking to attack downfield. If we get another touchdown, I'm going to sim out of here, man. It's, it's a waste of my time. But Grays actually finds a little bit of trouble, and we throw this ball up in the air. The idea was there, but just we just couldn't get enough on it. So it's now third and seven for us here. As now, Gray dropping back the pass. Gets it out to the right-hand side to Ronnie Harvey. And Ronnie Harvey is going to go ahead and pick up that first down. He's been a great red zone threat. Two touchdowns already on the day. As Gray looks right, that's going to be deflected away. Trying to get it to Harvey again, but this time the Bobcats were all over it. It's now second and 10 coming gonna run it up the gut with a jet sweep and Mike Anderson is gonna find him some room there that's good for a first down as we continue to run and throw the ball and trying to get it out to the outside but Marcus Johnson gonna go ahead and break that up as a couple plays later now third and 10 Gonna try to set up a screen here in order to pick up this first down. But Ohio is not going to be fooled, and we don't get anything on that screen. And so we gotta go ahead and punt this football away once more. Is now first and ten following the punt. Woodard in a five wide set. He's looking. He's gonna get hit as he throws this football, but he does find. William Cook for a decent gain. Good for a gain of seven. Is now second and three. Woodard going to throw again here. They're down by, by a lot and going to just leave the pocket this time around. That will help pick up the first down. But can we stall them? Third and long here for the Bobcats. Trips to the right. Woodard running with some pressure. And he is going to be hit again. And they punt the football again towards us, man. Four and a half minutes left to play. We got a chance to run down the rest of his clock. You know, get some, uh, you know, you don't get a, uh, try to get one of those things where, uh, you know, we get it down to triple zeros. I don't know why I was struggling so much with that, man. Like, you know, like just a little brain fart there for your, for your boy. But... Huge gain here as we get up to 330 passing yards here as it makes it first and 10 as Williams runs it up the gut, picks up a gain of eight there and another good gain for the tailback as it is now Anthony Williams time to shine here getting to those critical parts of the game where it just feels good to have a running back like him man first and 10. As we decide to pass the ball here, uh, actually, so I'm a little surprised by that, but Aaron Forty's going to remain in bounds to pick up this first down, so we'll be able to go ahead and keep the clock running. Now getting to close to under three minutes left to play as that time is still ticking as we are having ourselves a blast. Anthony Williams now with 100 yards on the ground. As our coordinators still want to pass this football for some reason. I mean, I'm more than content to just keep running the football, but that's not how our coordinators see things. You know, I want the coaches have a little say in what plays I call to make it, you know, give ourselves a little bit of a sim feel. That is another touchdown. I'll catch you guys later, man. So not only did we end up winning the game, but we also are game down free, so a win will actually count, so you really... Love to see that, man. Got the blowout, so we got a small chance for our backups to come in, like, last minute and a half of the game. 
Uh, and Andrew Gray ended up looking pretty good in this one. 28 for 39, 348 yards, four touchdowns, two interceptions, um, both of which were on our side of the field. Um, so there was that. Uh, so it could have been more of a blowout, but didn't quite happen that way. Anthony Williams, though, was good for the offense here. 20 carries, 102 yards, and a touchdown to go with it uh, in this one. Um, did a very good job running the football, especially in that fourth quarter. Now, as for the receivers, we did have a 100-yard receiver, and that is Ben Young. Ben Young ends up with nine catches and 163 yards in this one. Ronnie Harvey ends up with a couple of touchdowns. He had six for 42. And then the tight end, Anthony Ford, ends up with four catches and 71 yards as well now as for the blocking daryl hawthorne led the team in tackles in this one he had six seven tackles with justin johnson ending up with six who's who's been a young star of this defense we also got to this quarterback five separate times here as well ends up with five total sacks uh with uh adam adams he ends up with the sole turnover of the day he ends up with an interception that was returned for 33 yards. So great day for our defense. Great day for our offense. It was certainly the most complete game that we were able to put together so far. So we get the monkey off our back and we start a potential winning streak, man. Let's see if this leads to better days as we're now 3-2 and two on the season as we approach the halfway point. But next episode, we will continue conference play. This time taking on another former Mac squad. We are taking on the Rockets of Toledo. So it should be a decent little matchup. We're at home. And we'll see if we can blow them out like we did against Ohio. But in the meantime, man, I hope you enjoy today's episode, man. Hope you enjoy something a little bit different, you know, changing some things around, you know, in terms of when I review prospects, man. Let me know how you feel about that. But... In the meantime, though, please do me a favor, man. Smack that like button for me. And then, of course, hit that subscribe button if you happen to be brand new to the channel. Leave a comment for your boy as well. It helps spread this video out to the masses. So, yeah, man, I'm signing off. I'm hoping you're all out there. Having a good one. Take care, everybody.